Hey everybody, Kim here with Little Biz Resources, and today I'm going to be showing you where you can find keywords that people are actually using in your Etsy shop. So in this instance, I'm in my Etsy shop and I'm on a specific product. And the reason why I need to find the keywords is because I'm going to list it on Merchlet, which is our marketplace, that, and I need the keywords to figure out, you know, what people are using to find this one. So I'm here on the listing. You can see I have this listing tools and that is specifically in your Etsy shop. So you can't do this on somebody else's listing, just on your own listing. So here I'm going to click on stats and then I'm going to, I can see I have sold how much I've made from it, items sold, how many visits. Now, 71 visits isn't a lot, and you can see this is for all time. Um, I've actually been out of stock until recently in this item, so that's probably part of the reason why. Now, I can come down here and I can see this says Etsy versus Google, etc. And for the most part, I don't really care where. I just care about the search term. So in this case, Girl Scout fabric is the highest with only 14 visits from there. And then Girl Scout cookie fabric, Girl Scout cotton fabric by the yard, Girl Scout fabric by the by yard. And if you're doing keywords, you don't have to have them be exact matches per se. But in this case, I would definitely want to make sure that Girl Scout and fabric were all words that were in my title, in my description, in my tags, etc. If I'm switching to another place like Merchlet, right? So, but I would also probably want to make sure by the yards in there, even though these numbers are low, they help you kind of figure out other words that you can use because you can get found for them. If you have them listed, if you don't have them listed, you can't get found for them. So I can just go through here and I can glance through and see what is here. So I'm going to pull up another and we'll take a look at that one as well. Now in this design, I have a lot more views in it and I'll show you how to, how to determine that in just a minute, but I'm going to go into the stats and I have 637 visits. Um, this one was another one I was out of stock for a while on, but you can see here the number that I can tell that Snoopy nursery is one of the highest ones. So this is something else to think about is if you're, if you have a product in this case, I have, you know, it's fabric for First, it's Snoopy Nursery is actually the name of it. So that could be what the match is. But you can see Peanuts Nursery, Snoopy Nursery Decor. So people are kind of theming this with nursery. So if I have other designs, other Snoopy designs even, that might be a term I want to include in them. And even though they may not be getting found for it now, this particular design, like I said, is Peanuts Nursery. That's the name of it. Nursery is included in the title of it when it was released. So that's how people are going to be searching for it. But again, that might be another term that I put into some of my other Snoopy designs because people are looking for Snoopy nursery. And then anyway, I can go through here and you can see here too, right? Snoopy fabric. Somebody came in from Google. Um, baby Snoopy. Somebody came in from Google. Peanuts nursery. Somebody came in for Google. So the fact that they're searching on both Etsy and Google with that term is definitely one I want to use when I'm on another marketplace. So anyway, you can, there's 19 pages right, of at least one. And you can see these were just Google, but not Etsy. Beagle hat. That's interesting. doesn't really fit, but um, Snoopy and Woodstock blanket cotton. That sort of could work. Snoopy sleeping fabric. Now I wouldn't use ones like this one. Snoopy baby uh, sheet. I think it's supposed to be sheet. It's a, it's a typo. I wouldn't put that in there because most likely places that, yeah, that one's definitely from just Etsy because most likely if they type that into Google, it wouldn't, it would auto convert it to Snoopy baby sheet. All right. So let me show you in stats. If you were like, Hey, which ones should I focus on? Or which ones can I get the most amount of keywords with? When you go into stats, you can come in, you can see, of course, this is my total, total visits and orders and everything else, um, in this shop. So right here I have views, favorites, orders, and revenue. You can, ideally you want to get keywords that people buy from because that matches with what you are offering. However, they don't, you don't get that data on here. So that's just one of those things you're going to have to guess. So this one right here is one that sold out, but it had the most amount of views. So I'm going to go ahead and go into it. Even though it's sold out, I can still go into it from stats, right? So I can go to stats, sort however I want. It'll find my listing and I can go into the listing from there. So that's the second way to get into it, right? 
and it's sold out, so I don't have to worry about um, optimizing it or anything. But I can come down here and I can see kind of what people are looking for, right? So in this case, Grinch fabric was one that they were looking for. And it's a really good match with what I'm offering because it is Grinch fabric. So you can see, and this one was called Ugly Sweater. That was the name of it. So that's why, and you can even see it jumps down quickly from 101 down. So Grinch fabric was the most popular term that brought people to my listing. Now, ideally, again... I would have the one that made the most amount of sales, but they just don't have that in here. They just really don't have that in here. Um, you know, you can look and see where orders were. You can see I actually went out of stock and then came back into stock and then out of stock again. Now you wouldn't know that from this. I just know that because I listed it. So this is just something, an, a quick way that you can figure out keywords and then you can use those keywords. And then a second way, and I, you can see, I don't know if you can see this down here or not, but I have my keywords everywhere on is that let's say that I have Grinch fabric as my keyword. I can come into Google using keywords everywhere and it is a paid resource, but it's really cheap. So it's worth it. And I can see like what some of the keywords are that they're looking at, right? So Grinch Fabric Hobby Lobby, that's hilarious because they did have a specific design that only they sold. Then same thing with Walmart Grinch Fabric Wholesale. So if you have, um, let's say that you're a supplier of it and you wanted to rank for that keyword, you know that that's one that's there. And you could put that in your fabric tags, right? Or in your tags for your fabric, fabric if you had that. Uh, let's see here. So they're pretty much kind of similar Here's long tail keywords that recommended from keywords everywhere and Grinch fleece fabric, which makes sense because it's winter and that's when you would want fleece, but you can come here and see Grinch fabric panel. Pan there aren't too many panels. So if you have that, that would be a really good keyword to put in. Mine isn't panel. So I wouldn't want to put that. Then let's see here. Grinch fur fabric, huh? Robert Kaufman is the company that makes it. So that makes sense. Um, nothing significant Christmas Grinch fabric. That would be a good one that I don't have listed anywhere. Right. In fact, how the Grinch stole Christmas. Yeah. So I probably do have Christmas Grinch and fabric somewhere in my Etsy listing, but I don't get found for it. At least I didn't see. If I were to go back into here, I could probably look and see, um, ugly Christmas sweater. Uh, let's see if I see the Christmas Grinch fabric. Wasn't that what I said it was? Yeah, so that would be one here, Christmas Grinch Fabric, even though only three people on Etsy found me, they just found me for that. That doesn't mean that it's not a good keyword because again, I ran out of stock, so I stopped getting found for it. But these are all ones that I would go in and say, okay, if somebody searched for it, it's worth putting in my tags. Now, I wouldn't put too many because a lot of this is is similar, right? So Ugly Sweater and for Merchlet, we're doing some testing if you're on it so we can tell you exactly what is best practice and to get found. But otherwise, this is a great way to find your keywords, whether you're going to Merchant, you're going to your own store, you're going to another marketplace, whatever it is, this is a great way. You don't get a whole lot of places that will share data like this. So while Etsy is sharing the data, you should capitalize on it because this literally is just the golden, I don't know, the gold for your, your listing. You really need to be able to match your keywords with your product. And if people are clicking on it in Etsy or even from Google based on your image and your and the keyword is even remotely close, it's definitely worth considering to take with you to other marketplaces, to your own, to your own um, site, whatever it is. All right. So um, thanks for watching. I know this one was kind of quick and simplistic, but hopefully it helped you figure out how to use some keywords, how to find some keywords. And if you are not on Etsy and you have the capability to, to, to sell on Etsy. We still recommend it, but we're also still taking people for the merchant marketplace if you're interested. And if you are interested, you can, you know, leave a comment or you can go to merchlet.com and take a look, or you can just hop into merchletuniversity.com and that's going to be where our training is. We have some training up right now. We're going to have more, but you can also hop into the Facebook group and ask questions. All right. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.